<laughs> okay, before we actually start this video that we're actually going to be making here in the next over the next couple days because I don't have much time to actually do what I want to do. I just want to touch bases with you guys to let you know because I think this is a huge deal is that we are officially caught up. This video I'm doing right now is today. It is it's, it, I'm not making any videos now from here on out that were made in the past. Um, what you guys just saw uploaded was actually the podcast and that was the most recent video that we actually did, but it's not a vlog. So now we are caught up. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that whatever you guys see on Instagram is probably in the process of getting this baby ready for the rest of the year. So we'll get back to the video. Okay, bye. So the last time that we actually spoke was when I kind of left you guys hanging with the last vlog. Now, that was because we got the wheels on that I was actually going to be putting on the car. But as you guys can see, it is uh, not all the way down and I haven't aired out because I'm gonna show you exactly what the issue is. But that ferment is perfect. So it's gonna be looking really good. It's gonna look awesome. We do have an issue. If you guys remember in the podcast, if you guys did not watch the podcast, you should go watch it. We have to cut. The plan, real simple. I'm gonna jack it up. I'm waiting for this thing to air up all the way. Remove the wheels. I'm gonna actually remove this seam. I don't really like this gasket here. So we're gonna remove that. I kinda wanna see on this side exactly how good that would look if we were to take it off to see if it's more seamless into the body versus having that hard cut. I think it's better for fender flares, but for an actual body kit, I don't think it's a really good fit. So I'm gonna take those off and then we can see how that looks. But at the same time, I'm going to be cutting slices underneath to roll them back under so that we can actually go lower. Cause right now the car, the actual car is sitting on the tire, which sucks. We don't want that. So we're gonna get that taken care of. I'll try to make this as fluid as possible. Okay, I just aired it out a little bit, but you can see like this is gonna look so good. This is gonna be perfect. But look how much gap we have. We have like at least a little over two fingers worth of gap that we still need to go down a little bit more, but it's because the chassis is actually sitting on the tire. So we need to cut more so that it can go lower. Um, I only have this at about 25 PSI. That could air out and go lower but it's not gonna do anything because it's sitting on the tire. So that is the problem. This tire actually turns out the valve stem is actually broken. So do we'll get the other valve stems installed. As you can see, like I said, about two fingers before we actually come down all the way. Um, it's just sitting on the tire. We have a little bit more to go and we can air out and actually have that nice fender to lip look or at least close to it. We're almost done. guys I I don't know I like it I really really do like it just clean no hard line it just shows up I think that's cleaner I think it's way better than having the line on the side so this is the side we'll just show this this is the side without it so it just has the, the rivets in and then this is the side with it I just don't like the hard line I think it looks it's too much. I think it's too much because that just looks, oh, that's perfect. It just goes with it. It looks like it's part of the car versus being added on. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna, we're gonna take off all the liners and stuff like that. This is, this is gonna look way better. I'm gonna get the other side off. A uh, little update, I kind of set down the camera. I'm not going to be recording much this episode. I get a lot of cinematic stuff and everything because I'm kind of doing this day by day because I'm working so much right now. It's kind of ridiculous. In fact, I should probably slow down. But overall deal is I want to get this car done so that we can actually spend time on the actual release shoot of everything and more focus on timing versus vi recording. So I apologize, but hopefully this turns out decent. We'll see. Put down the camera, but at least I was able to finish the livery. All good to go. We're going to keep this smiley face just because I think that's funny as hell. Just having a smiley face there. Um, this is, I mean, it's cool, right? 
that's what cool people do. They have smiley faces. I don't know, I'm just talking now. Got the livery on, I'm test fitting the wheels with some new um, adapter lugs because these faces are actually not meant for this car, but looks like it's gonna be looking good. And I haven't found enough time to actually get in there and start cutting just yet. I don't know how much room I'm gonna have to actually cut up and in there, so you can tuck this a little bit more. I might be shit out of luck and not be able to do that fender to lip just because my meat is too thick, so we'll see. This side's a little bit easier to tell, but like underneath here we have all this that needs to be cut. Just needs to be cut back, cut and then tucked and rolled so they go a little bit lower. Hopefully we'll be able to get that fitment that we're looking for. I know it's kind of teasing you guys about the rest of everything we're doing actually down here in the engine bay. We do have something that's coming. Um, it's just taking a lot longer than we thought and we're just gonna have to wait for that. So it probably won't be ready for the season, uh, but it will be a final touch maybe towards the end of the season, maybe before Stance Wars, I don't know, we'll see. But as it looks right now, we got a pretty good looking car. Man, I cannot wait to get this thing out because it's been so long that we've been waiting for this car to be done and good to go. Um, I'm still tuning it. We need to fix up some of the rock chips down here on the front bumper, but we're getting we're getting close. We're getting very close. Two thousand years later. So I did a couple little tests and things to see exactly what's going on as far as the cutting is about to be involved, like you know, cutting more down underneath here. Instead, I mounted the tires because I realized that there's not much more that I can cut. Probably could go more, but not without risking major like holes and, and leaks to the trunk. And I don't really want to deal with all that moisture buildup and then the bags get all messed up. I don't want to do that. The other option is something that I have to work on, have to wait for. These are the lateral links that I got from Jeff way back when. If you guys watched that video, it'll be above my head, either here or here. I can't remember which side it's going to be on, but it's going to pop up. Go check out that video. Um, when he gave them to me, when we did that trade and that deal, um, it only came with one bearing. They called a collar. I need three more. And honestly, I don't know if he's just been too busy, but he's been pretty much impossible to get a hold of. And so I've been kind of like left stranded. These haven't been installed and it's been through an April, simple math, five, four months, going on almost five months where I've had these and I haven't been able to install them. So I got a hold of Cusco, just take things into my own hands, talk to them, sent them pictures of what I needed so they're gonna give me a quote and hopefully have those collars shipped out to me if if that's the issue and that's gonna be the fix. It looks like it should just mount right in. There shouldn't be any issues. So hopefully these aren't broken and I didn't get screwed over. That would suck. What we can do with these when we do finally get them installed is put them on the car and then adjust the camber to where these are gonna be tucking properly and maybe even give us a little bit more area to kind of go, go farther down. That seems to be the biggest issue right now is just the fact that this won't go down all the way. Even if I air out, I don't have enough clearance and maybe I just have too much meat, but nonetheless, trying to get this thing to go all the way to the ground has been a challenge, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get as close as we possibly can, but for now, at least this looks like this and I'm super happy about it to at least see this progress as you guys can see the lineup is so nice it's so nice fronts we're getting uh, additional we're getting some custom spacers being made this should be here in a couple weeks that'll push the front wheels out a little bit more to kind of get that that flush look that we're looking for and then we're good we're 100 good yeah right now it's just going to be a waiting game so i think for now just to get pictures off and everything we're going to go shoot and i have a couple locations i really been wanting to check out but i also need to do a poll with this car because i haven't even finished the tune yet as you guys know i mean this car has been in here up on jack stands this entire time enough of me talking let's go get this thing tuned let's go get, take some pictures you're gonna like where we're heading When you record, but your mic was off. Anyways, Dylan's bringing the drone. We're gonna get some drone shots for at least the video that we're gonna be submitting. We're trying to beat that from going down and actually get this car filmed and get a photos photo shoot in. Now, got the wheels on, got that reattached um, and good to go, but still not finished. It's gonna be good enough for like a photo shoot to really look good and I'm excited. So we're gonna hit the road. Hopefully we won't die. So see you there, bye. Fucking mic, man. I'm so tired of the mic not being on. I'm gonna say this again. We made it. Chambers Bay and that looks beautiful. Oh man, I am gonna get a few shots of this, do some cinematic shots, see what it turns out looking like, and uh, we're gonna go from there. But 
I haven't seen the weather like this in a while. We got some other options going up hills and stuff, uh, at least up there. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just include the shots in this, and then uh, and then bye. So, bye.